Hey guys, this is Rob. Hope we're all having a great day. Right, today I'd like to talk to you about surround sound systems. Now, I'm not a specialist in this field. I personally, I consider myself to know bugger all about them. But a couple of months ago, I was looking at buying a surround sound system and I was so confused because I wanted one I could put the telly through, have the laptop through PS3 and Xbox and I just couldn't find anything that sort of said how but the problem being there's so many different types of connection so that's something to watch out for now if you're buying a brand new one easy so you've got more well more than likely you've got HDMI these are connectors on the back of the uh, system. You've got HDMI, uh, more than likely optical audio, and what they call YBPBR. Um, basically, they're, lo they're like the old three pin start socket. So I thought I had some there that I could show you. So basically it's as easy as connecting say like my telly here my telly's got HDMI uh, oh no it hasn't got optical audio but it has got YBPBR we'll call them the funny sockets right so theoretically I haven't got the YBP the funny sockets connected but theoretically connect it to the telly and then to the surround sound. Now, um, if I was running a skybox or something like that, then it's an optical audio connector on the back of the skybox into the back of the surround sound. Right, I'm just gonna swing you down. Here is my surround sound. Now on the back of this bad boy, this one is the Polaroid that I got from Asda, or Walmart as you'd call it in the States. Uh, on it, there's all the speaker connections. They're all cut. The speaker wires are all colour coded, so they will only go in one specific bay. But it's all colour coded, and it comes with a manual, and it tells you. Then in the optical audio. I've got an optical audio cable coming to a splitter which is up here I don't know whether you can see that or not but I can't move and it's again oh it does help unlock the legs <laughs> I've got an optical audio splitter here so there's a cable going from that down to the surround sound then all your optical audio devices you just run a plug through so on the back of the Xbox there's an optical audio cable which comes round and goes into that now it's as easy as anything also the same thing applies on the PS3 optical audio cable round into that you can pick them up really cheap on eBay and other places like that I bought that one for I think about £3 so it's not going to break the right bank and optical audio cables uh, if I can, uh -huh. optical audio cables when you buy them they look like this now the common thing now I don't mean this to sound as if I'm making you sound stupid but there's a little bubble sort of thing on the end you must remove that the amount of people that try and cram these in with that on right so you must make sure you take that off now some of them are very very stiff to get in um, you'll notice when you buy them there's a little I don't think you can see that on like the body there's a little notch 
uh, notch protrusion that will click when you're pushing it into the back of your device or the back of your surround sound it will click um, and they are a sod to get out they're such a tight connection but anyway you can buy these if you actually bulk buy them they work out quite cheap you can probably pick them up in pound shops for like a pound now but then there's I don't mean to waffle on about optical audio but it's the most popular of the more modern systems um, if you've got old ones there I think they're called RCA plugs they're like the old scarp pin plug things so um, they just connect straight into the back of your device straight into your surround sound or you get systems like this which require optical audio now on the top end systems I know this video is getting a bit rambly now apologies for the finger I know this video is pull the lens cap off a bit rambly but on the more modern well not modern but up like top market ones like your I don't know I can't think to be honest like I say I don't know a lot about this subject on a lot of the more modern ones if it says it's I believe it's Toslink or Toslink something like that it requires a specific optical audio so if if you are confused with what you need go to like a local video audio shop and ask just say look I've got this state the model number or show them the box and say I need to connect it to blah de blah what do I need and they will tell you pretty much what I've told you in this video so I hope this has cleared up some sort of doubts um, the other thing you don't need to put any HDMI leads in HDMI is video not audio okay so on my setup with the Xbox and the PS3 um, HDMI sorts itself out don't worry about that with a surround sound that's something I got confused with because someone said about this certain model had a HDMI splitter built in so they was connecting it into the surround sound and the surround sound were doing everything but if you've got multiple devices which use HDMI though for example if you're upgrading I should imagine 99% of people have uh, what I'm doing is the same thing I've got a splitter here which only cost a couple of quid on eBay or a couple of dollars whatever you like to trade in and everything is connected via HDMI so I go on my telly into HDMI and basically whatever device is running it will show you okay so just a brief recap optical audio cable from your device to your splitter then from your splitter to your surround sound it's as easy as that everything will work um, certain things I think the PS3 is the one I'm thinking of you need to turn on the optical audio socket I can't remember how you do it but it's somewhere in the settings but if you google that or if I remember how to do it I'll actually put a link in this video so anyway this video has gone on nearly 10 minutes I hope this is of some use to someone um, something like this would have been of great use to me but you only find these out once you experiment so I hope this has been useful uh, please comment rate and subscribe I don't normally do this sort of video my area is really gardening bike maintenance and that so there are more how to videos on the way probably down this sort of line I don't know right thanks for watching enjoy the rest of your day and hopefully I'd like to hear comments about your home audio systems 
and that's all for now. Take care, bye for now.